glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency is an inherited disorder caused by a genetic defect in the red blood cell enzyme G6PD that occurs most often in men. G6PD deficiency increases the vulnerability of erythrocytes to oxidative stress. Clinical presentations include neonatal bilirubinemia, acute hemolytic anemia, and chronic hemolytic anemia. Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is an enzyme responsible for reducing nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate or NADP to its reduced form NADPH in the pentose phosphate pathway. NADPH protects cells from oxidative damage because erythrocytes do not generate NADPH, thus making them more susceptible than other cells to destruction from oxidative stress. G6PD deficiency is the most common disease-producing enzyme deficiency in the world, affecting about 400 million people worldwide. Gene mutations affecting encoding of G6PD are found on the distal long arm of the X chromosome. Mutation is attributed to missense mutations. An X-linked disease affects mainly men, but it is not uncommon to find women affected with it as well. Research done in the Philippines about G6PD deficiency shows that women can also be G6PD deficient. Complications arising from being G6PD deficient are neonatal hyperbilirubinemia and hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia develops when red blood cells are destroyed faster than the body can replace them resulting in reduced oxygen flow to the organs and tissues, causing fatigue, yellowing of skin and eyes, and shortness of breath. Red wine Soy products like soy milk, tofu, soy sauce, and soy oil. Alaxan gel. Bengay. Efficacent oil. Omega painkiller. Listerine mouthwash and pocket packs. Mothballs or naphthalene balls which are common in the Philippines should also be avoided. As of date, no known cure is present for being G6PD deficient. Only avoidance of the triggering factors to ensure that complications would not arise. In extreme cases, blood transfusion might be necessary to prolong life. Newborn screening is the first and crucial step in determining if a child is G6PD deficient. The Public Act 9288 is also known as the Newborn Screening Act of 2004 was approved on April 7, 2004. Aside from G6PD deficiency, Several tests are done to detect congenital hyperthyroidism, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, galactosemia, phenylketonuria, and maple syrup human disease. The role of healthcare providers is to inform the parents about the complications of G6PD deficiency. During this crisis, the goal of doctors and nurses is to prevent harmful effects from getting worse. Doctors and nurses should be aware of new medications that can trigger the manifestations of being G6PD deficient. 
midwives also play an important role in ensuring that all children born will be tested for newborn screening. In the absence of a doctor, they should educate the parents about the importance of newborn screening. Lastly, dietitians also play a role to ensure that proper nutrition would still be achieved by a patient regardless of being a B6B nutrition. Formulating controlled diet and educating parents of different ways on how to feed their children to achieve optimum nutrition is crucial to children with G6PD deficiency. Being G6PD deficient is manageable and it starts with newborn screening. Awareness and proper information, which is the primary role of healthcare providers, can help a child and their family to cope with the most common disease-producing enzyme deficiency in the world, glucose-6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Thank you.